I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap your crew. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just step to no weapons, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turn her to a Hey what's up guys, Dark Worker here and for today's video we are going to play Shivana in the jungle. It's going to be a guide so at the beginning I will talk about the abilities of Shivana, then what's the best build, the best runes for Shivana, how to play her exactly, how to gank and how you use the right jungle pathing to win the game. So first of all, let's talk about the build. So we are going for Trinity into Glory, then Guardian Angel uh, into uh, Sterox. And then we will just go for tanky items depending on the enemy team composition. For example, Thorn Mail or Adaptive Helmet. So anyways, let's hop right into the abilities. I will just cut it right here really quick. The passive of Shivana is Fury of the Dragonborn. It allows you to do 20% more damage onto dragons. Also, you will get bonus enhancement on your abilities when you kill a dragon. The first skill is going to be Twin Bite. Your next auto attack is going to strike twice and you can also use it to uh, animation cancel your auto attacks. So AA into S1 quickly. Second skill is Burnout. You will increase your movement speed and create a circle which does damage. Third skill is going to be Flame Breath. You just launch a fireball which does damage. That's pretty much it. It's not too important. You can mark the opponent with it as well. And for the ultimate it's Dragon Descent. It allows you to transform into a dragon and that's basically the most important thing. Have to consider though that you have to stack Fury, which you can do with auto attacks. So the more auto attacks you do, the quicker you can get. Now, in the dragon form, your abilities will be different when you kill dragons for the S1. If you kill the mountain dragon, it will slow extra with the S2. When you kill a cloud dragon, it in increases your movement speed. With the E, if you kill uh, Inferno dragon, it does true damage. And for the dragon form, if you kill the ocean, you will get extra HP. So that's pretty much it. Also, when you use the ultimate, you can pull people towards you. Let's hop right into the gameplay. So... We are playing Shivana and this gameplay is a little bit old, so I think I'm, yeah, what I like to do is I use my second ability immediately just so I can ward my blue buff. I can, you can ward it here or you can ward it into the small bush right in the river. I'm going to reset so I can take the red trinket and then straight up go for the raptors most of the times i like to go for raptors red buff uh, wolves or blue buff and then into the scuttle at the top side that's probably the quickest clear you can ask your teammates uh, to pull for you the red buff and then you start the uh, e the third skill instead just so your jungle clear is even quicker if you get a pull, then you can go uh, from red buff into raptors, into blue buff and then going for scuttle. Wait, we are old school. Why am I doing a full clear in this game? This, this gameplay might be... Uh, it's probably old and that's why I'm going for full clear. We are... wait, why am I doing this? Or maybe it's because Lee Sin will go for the top scuttle and that's why I want to go for the bot scuttle. I think that's why, because I saw him top side 
and I can't really contest against him at the top side. Yeah, I think that's the that's why I decided to do this. Lee Sin ganking top side, and he's probably going for the top scuttle. And as Shivana, you really can contest against Lee Sin any scuttles because he will just win the one versus one. So it's better to get the scuttle at the opposite side. But yeah, my standard pathing would be... Wait, we're getting a double scuttle as Shivana against Lee Sin. We're smurfing. We are absolutely smurfing in the jungle pathing. Going for the double scuttle. Now, blue buff, Grom, Wolves, and then reset. Wait, we are toxic. <laughs> yeah, I think he had vision and he just entered. That's why I'm just asking, why is he doing this? Actually, this is toxic, don't do this. We have Scuttle, you have Vision. Wow, we are so toxic, don't do this. <laughs> Actually, we are so toxic in this. You can ask this normally. I think uh, maybe you had a lose, losing streak before this and I got tilted, but yeah, don't recommend you guys to be... This is kind of passive aggressive. We're not toxic, but it's passive aggressive. If you want to win a uh, win games in solo key, you always have to stay positive, even even if they see Leeson coming through the scuttle and I ping it, and they still die. You should always stay positive. If you stay positive and have a good mindset, then you will win the game. Can we reach him? Maybe. Okay, waste my ultimate. Yeah, waste my ultimate. We're not going to get him. But it's fine, considering that you can stack your ultimate pretty quickly on jungle camps. Oh. Yeah, anyways, about the mentality thing. You should... you can write. You guys should pay more attention. You had scuttle up, but you shouldn't write. You had scuttle up! What the fuck? Why are you getting caught? Yeah, don't do this. Bad example. Bad example. Don't be passive aggressive. Don't flame. Stay positive. I know sometimes you are really tilted if you are in a loser's uh, losing streak. But always try to stay positive. If you have a good mindset and you're staying positive, a lot of games in Wild Drift are... Um, yeah, you can turn it around, giving a comeback, and we are just absolutely griefing right here. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm griefing. I'm going to die. This is bad. This is totally bad. Why am I uplo why am I uploading this gameplay? It's so bad already. Inferno is up and I just suicided trying to get those two kills. Don't do that. As Shivan, it's really important that you contest the dragon and don't give it away. Especially not the Inferno Dragon. The Inferno Dragon is the most important dragon for Shivana because your E your third skill will get enhanced and does true damage. True damage and splash. It's huge. The E, true damage, you're maxing it at the second. I didn't talk about the skill order yet. First ability is getting maxed at the last, actually. Second ability first and third ability second. So the skill priority order is R, ultimate, Second skill, third skill, and then first skill. Let's not lose this, we get it, let's go. We jump in with our ultimate, dragon form, let's chase for Kaisa. So the dragon skill order is probably going to be... Ah, uh, every dragon is pretty, pretty good, but the mountain dragon got nerfed. So the slow reduction went from 60% to 40%. So it's not as strong anymore. Also the ocean dragon got nerfed. So you get less HP when you're using your dragon form. Not sure what's the best. Ocean is really good for your team, to be honest. Getting regeneration extra. Cloud dragon for extra movement speed. Mountain dragon for Objective control since he will do more damage onto objectives. I still managed to get it and he doesn't kill us. So that was lucky. If I could choose, I guess Mountain Dragon second. 
40% slow on the S1 is still pretty good. Cloud Dragon gives you movement speed on the S2, which is also nice. And Ultimate Ocean, it's I, I think it's not that good anymore since they nerfed it. Let's go for Kaiser here. So actually Shivana is one of my most played champions right now. I think it's the fourth most champion. Whenever I jungle, I use Shivana, and I actually use Shivana to get myself into Masters. Played it in my promos, and it went super well. Shivana is one of the best junglers right now. Also in competitive, he is or she is really good. Going for the scuttle right now, jumping over the wall. Scuttle control is also really important on Shivana. Try to power farm on Shivana sometimes and. Uh, some matchups you just want to power farm because you can't out jungle the person. What I like to do is to counter gank. If you have good vision set up you can see where the jungle is going to be and then counter ganking works most of the times much better than initiating a gank because Shivana isn't really the best initiator in a gank. Like in teamfights she's really good and great to engage. But get, setting up a gang as Shivana, I think, isn't the greatest compared to Lee Sin, for example. Lee Sin is just super easy. We flash over the wall, get that kill, and nice. So, with the build on Shivana, we're going for a super tanky build, to be honest. Just our only damage item is going to be Trinity, and then we're going for a full tanky build and we will still do a lot of damage considering that we have the true damage from the infernal dragon onto our E and she does a lot of mixed damage, physical damage, magical damage from the second ability so that this was really nice as well and let's see if we can flank here going for the engage jumping in huge huge and now getting three kills out of this Maybe, uh, we, to be honest, we don't even need to use our Herald yet. I mean, pretty much Shivan is all about farming up, getting objective control, getting those dragons, which is really important, obviously. As a jungler, you want to get those scuttles as well, scuttle control for the vision. It's super important to see whenever someone is roaming from mid to top or from mid to bot lane. And it also gives you movement speed when you're passing through the scuttle area, which is really good for your mid laner because he will roam much quicker than the, than, than the opposite mid laner. Anyways, I think we are doing pretty fine right now. We have good control using the Herald for the mid lane. Maybe we didn't really need it considering that both towers, both to one, Towers at the mid and bottom lane, we're always super low. We don't have our ultimate yet, we're trying to stack up really quick. We are godlike right now. And Shivana is definitely one of the best junglers right now. So if you want to grind in solo queue, uh, play a more uh, objective control based champion, then I would definitely recommend Shivana. She's also really tanky, still does good damage, she can initiate. So her one vs 9 potential is pretty solid, some champions, ooh that was clutch, yeah some champions are more about ganking, for example Vi and Lee Sin, they are really strong in the early game and they can just set up ganks much more easily than Shivana for example. But I think the objective control and her teamfight ability make up for it, I think she is Super good in the right hands, just about the objective control. If you are really good at macro gaming, like you know when to do dragons, when to get scuttles, uh, when and how to engage into a team fight, then definitely pick up Shivana. But if you want a more carry jungle, then I would recommend you to go for maybe Lee Sin, Evelyn, or maybe Wukong. But Wukong is also a pretty solid teamfight based jungler but his ganks are much better than Shivana. I think when it comes to tankiness and teamfight power Shivana is definitely one of the best teamfighters as a jungler maybe a Mumu ultimate 
solid as well. Jumping in right there, nice Lulu ultimate uh, on top of this. Oh, actually, this gameplay is right after the season reset, so it's still a pretty high elo gameplay considering that Emerald 1 is one of the highest ranks uh, at the point when I'm recording this. So you might think, oh, it's Emerald gameplay, but you have to consider after the season reset, everyone was Emerald 1, Emerald 2, and only the top players were Diamond. But yeah, I think we're doing a great job playing this game. Except for the early game, we kinda entered the first death, but overall, we have decent objective control, we have two dragons, we lost only one tower and we got four towers already and mid tier 2 and mid um, bot tower looking pretty pale, they're super low life already. So with the next team fight we should be able, if we win it, to force Baron and with Baron we should be able to finish the game pretty much. Okay, just checking all the wards here, that's why Sweeper is important to clean up all those wards to deny vision from the opponents just so that you can go for a safe Baron rush or maybe you can trap them if they don't know whether or not you already started Baron you can trap them or you can start it and if they're coming you can just turn on them destroy them and then afterwards you can put them yeah going for Kaisa she jumps away uh, Evelyn is going for Kaisa you look at our E we use the third ability right into them doing true damage Using it again, pew! And the Kaiser is getting uh, popped, her GA is getting popped in Pilar right now. Ooh, actually she kind of does. Anyways, that's an ace. Question is, can we straight up end it? Or do we go for the safe Baron? 15, 14 seconds for Brown. I think we might be able to just finish this game right here. We have two cannons, so we have a decent wave the opponent surrender so that's going to be it for the game hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay leave a like if you want to see more white Wolf content and also write down in the comments for which champions you would like to see more guides or more commentaries so leave a like subscribe if you want to see more content like this hope you guys have an awesome day and i see you next time bye bye